Hey everybody, it's Hen, back for another vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the car seat slash stroller that we got for baby girl. So, when thinking about car seat stroller, it's a very important thing to think about because you want to make sure you get the best quality. And it was funny because I was on a flight, I can't remember where I was going, I was going somewhere, and I saw this lady like rocking her baby back and forth in the stroller. The stroller looked like it looked legit, very compact, it looked cool. Like, And so, as we were going to board the flight, she just collapsed that joint. And I'm like, oh snap, it just literally transitioned to a car seat. Now I've seen a lot of instances where people would get the car seat that kind of snaps into the stroller, but I've never seen one where it's already one just like one mechanism, I guess, where you just push a button and it just collapses and push a button and it comes back to a stroller. Um, so started doing some research and then finally found what kind of stroller it was. And it was funny because um, my, uh, my mama Feech, I, like my second mom, right? She sent me a DM and was telling me, hey, this is the stroller you need to look at. We was in Target that time looking at different strollers. And the stroller she sent me happened to be the exact stroller that I was trying to find. Um, so, long story short, the Duna is the stroller slash car seat that we're going with for um, baby girl. And being as though she's still at the hospital, the hospital likes to check the stroller, I'm sorry, check the car seat before discharging. So it's always good to already have that process taken care of. Today we'll be installing this. I don't know that I'm, I'm going to keep that in the plastic. Okay. In the base. I like how it came in because it came in already kind of set up. I guess because it's all one mm -hmm. feature anyway. Um, there's a button in the back that if I just pull it and lift up, it is convert, which is pretty lit. Makes it easy. And then this also extends too. So you can pull it, push it. I want to make sure to take the brake off. I like this joint. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me install this into the. This is the process of installing the car car seat. Luckily, I had help from Lon because I don't know if I've been able to do it. What's up, HL fam? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is New Year's Eve. And y'all, can you imagine how I'm starting out my New Year's Eve? I'm right outside of my, doc my doctor's office about to get these staples taken out. God is good. God is good. I guess we're not going into 2020 with, I don't know, no more staples. But... I don't think it's gonna hurt because, and this is something I'm gonna address in my postpartum video, it's like the skin where, my mother was like laughing at me when I was saying this last time, the skin where the incision is, is dead. In the sense that I have, I still have no feeling in that area. So I think it's gonna be a little uncomfortable, I don't think it's gonna hurt, so whatever. And then, after that, I'm so excited because I'm gonna go get my hair blown out. Won't he do it? <laughs> I just feel like new year, new mom, new house. Um, I, I want to say new man, like like new man as far as like, I mean my baby is a new man, meaning like he lost weight. I'm not like getting a new man, but it just kind of goes like new house, new baby, new mom, new man, new life, new me. I gotta just get my life back together, y'all. I've just been in pajamas for too long. And I just feel like getting my hair done is just gonna start me yes, going back to like feeling like myself. I've lost like so much weight. Hopefully I look like do I look different to y'all? Looking at old videos, I was just like, like so what, fat. 20 pounds? Yeah, like I'm literally, which is so crazy, I'm literally three pounds away from my pre-baby weight, which is just ridiculous. Won't you do it? <laughs> yes, you and I'm not even obsessed with that. I just didn't think I was gonna 
lose that much weight right Very after nice. birth like yeah right after birth like that but yeah i just i just cannot wait so y'all gonna see my hair is gonna be on fleek and my birthday is on friday it's just a great way to start the year a great way to like go into motherhood mm. Mm. yeah because like i gotta get out of the slums like Come on, yes, okay. you know yeah so it's gonna be a really exciting morning um we will catch you guys probably in the doctor's office all right y'all so i just came back from the doctor's office she took out my staples and they didn't hurt at all um like i was saying the area is still numb she said it's actually going to be numb for an entire year um and when it's all said and done it'll still be like a small little like stamp size patch that is um that remains numb so whatever so glad that is over i have a follow-up appointment in two weeks um, just to see but she said I am healing beautifully um, she said that I'm healing at the rate of somebody who is four weeks post c-section so she said I really I mean still take it lightly and everything like that but I really have no chance of um, like messing up my incision unless I do something like really crazy or like getting <clears throat> god forbid get into a car accident or something like that so now I'm headed to my hair appointment and i will talk to you guys later when i look like a whole new person what's up hl fam what's good hl fam welcome back to the vlog so today it's now um new year's day i forgot to show y'all my hair yesterday <laughs> and now it's a bad representation last night i was sweating in my sleep and so it kind of sweated out a little bit i'm gonna have to the joint is long though yeah let me show you <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. Hey, yo. I'm gonna have to um, press out my roots like later when we get back home. But right now, we're in DC. It's so exciting. You wanna tell them why? Sorry. Sure, I can Go tell ahead. Them it why. is your friend. My best friend, Ricky Phyllis, is proposing to his girlfriend, Kelsey. Yes. We are so Surprise excited for them. I know. So we're headed to. Um, this restaurant called Sequoia in DC. It's on this beautiful waterfront. I'll show you guys when we get down there. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be super special and she's not gonna know that we're watching. I think we're gonna be like, I don't know, somewhere on a balcony somewhere and they're gonna be down below. And we're gonna watch it all and surprise her. Look at this waterfront, it is just beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is just, this is just beautiful. And it's not too cold either. It's a beautiful day, the sun is out. Oh, Sequoia's right here. Huh, he's yeah. trying to get this together. This is such a beautiful thing. Break the Kelsey up on the way. We're so excited. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. We'll be back in a second. Stop. Back, back, back. the way 
where you are And if life is good to you 